Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. My name is Raman and today I am here to share 7 essential coding patterns with you that will help you to solve more and more lead code problems. The reason behind sharing this video because in my learning journey of data structures and algorithm, I have faced this problem so many times that while solving the data structures problem, I couldn't find the right approach to solve them. So here we'll be solving that with you. So without any further ado, let's get straight in the video. The very first one is sliding window. So we use this when we are working with the continuous subset, especially in strings and arrays. It's perfect for finding maximum and minimum values within a range. Just remember with the sliding window, you are either increasing the size of the window to include more important data or shrinking it to discard unnecessary data. This way you can focus on that part of data which you care about. The reason behind using this pattern because the time complexity of this is way much more better than the brute force. So here are the example questions that you can solve on coding platform. The very first one is longest substring without repeating characters. And the another one is maximum sum of subset of particular length. However, you can solve multiple problems on different kind of platforms, but these are the two that I've shared. So the next pattern is two pointers. This is ideal for sorted arrays or situation where we need to work from both the ends of the data. Just remember two pointers either move towards each other or in the same direction, depending on the problem's requirement. And they drastically reduce the time complexity as compared to the brute force approach. So the example question for two pointers are two sum or three sum and container with most water. Moving on to the third one, fast and slow pointers. This is specially used for linked list problem. This element is great for detecting cycles and the middle node of the linked list. The trick here is that one pointer moves faster than the another one which lets you find the cycle or middle element efficiently. So the example question for the same is linked list cycle. So let's come to the next one which is one of my favorite patterns which is binary search. It's essential for finding an element within a sorted array by narrowing down the search space. Binary search helps you to break down the search space by half each time, with making it super efficient, especially for the sorted arrays. The example question is, find minimum element in a rotated sorted array. The fifth one is, divide and conquer. Divide and conquer is all about breaking down a problem into sub parts and then solving each and combining the results all together. For example, we split the array and solve each half and then combine the result. Divide and conquer works best with the recursive problem, making complex problem easy to solve. Example questions are different ways of adding parentheses. So the sixth one is DFS and BFS. It's essential for traversing trees and graphs. This will help you to find paths, connected components or more. The main difference is that DFS goes deeper into one path without checking the nearby options while BFS checks all the nearby options first before going deeper. The example question is counting number of islands. So the seventh one is dynamic programming and it's one of the most challenging and rewarding pattern. Dynamic programming is a technique used to solve problems by breaking them down into sub problems and saving their results to avoid repetitive calculation. It's helpful for optimizing tasks and commonly used in problems like Fibonacci series and shortest path. So the related lead code questions are longest common substring. So these are the list of patterns that we have discussed so far but I've got one more bonus pattern as well for you, which is greedy approach. Greedy approach works by making the best local choice at each step in hope that it will lead to a globally optimal solution. They are useful for optimizing problems, especially those involving maximizing or minimizing some values or costs. In greedy approach, once you make a choice, you don't backtrack. So it's efficient, but doesn't always work. So you have to make sure that it applies to the problem. And at last, the related lead code questions is, traveling salesman problem. So this is it for today's video and if in case you want to check out more details about the patterns that I have shared today, you can check out the description. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon right next to it.